Good morning, everyone. This is Scott, or the Scott Man here, and we are here in Granville, Michigan, and we're gonna be doing a driving video this morning. It's a beautiful morning out in the Grand Rapids metro area, and we're gonna be doing some driving around the metro area today. So this video will probably be like, probably around a half hour long, so this will be a long one today, but They'll be plain to see though, so it's not like we're driving out in an open field like I did the one time I did a driving video on US Highway 24 between Napoleon and Maumee, Ohio. Because that was kind of more a more boring video. This one be a little bit more exciting. Because we're basically gonna be going into Grand Rapids via I-196. We're not going into downtown itself, but we'll be bypassing that, eventually heading over to Beltline Avenue and then Coming back over, I think toward Kentwood. I don't want to call this a grand tour video because we're not going through everything, but be a nice little drive. I actually haven't done a drive video in a while, not since my North Territorial road video. But yeah, it's a beautiful fall morning here leaves are starting to turn colors although a little bit later than it normally would because the September or most of September and I think even parts of the first half of October has been very warm as a matter of fact just a few days ago actually it was close to 80 degrees even which is unusually warm for this time of year. But yeah, off to our left a ways, well actually not a ways, but in general, is, although more so at the beginning of this video is Mill Millennium Park, which is one of the largest urban parks in the United States. It rivals Central Park in New York City. And we're now in Grand Rapids. And here's the Grand River. I should be going over that a couple times throughout the video today. The Grand River, of course, comes from Grand Rapids and then all the way out toward the Lansing area. And then empties out over in Grand Haven. freeway is pretty cool coming up. We actually, as you can tell, we're going to be going down a pretty, pretty cool hill. We can see a little bit of Grand Rapids. We are coming up to the M45 exit. That can take you west out toward Allendale where Grand Valley State University is. I can be able to see downtown Grand Rapids, but we'll get a great view nevertheless. It's like, yeah, this stretch you might want to slow down a little bit. and of course you're going downhill right back there. Pretty much all the way until you get close to the Highway 131 interchange. And then yep, you can see a little bit of downtown Grand Rapids. Yeah, I'm not going to turn the camera. It's a little too dangerous to do that right now. Yeah. Back 
weekend, I think yeah, it was late March, I actually came over here to do a Let's Visit video in downtown Grand Rapids. So definitely check that out if you get the chance. And yeah, I filmed that back in March, although I don't think I had it uploaded until sometime in early April, I believe. Because as with pretty much all, almost all my videos, except for maybe some of the Travel Shorts videos, they're all pre-recorded. So of course, although I'm, my commentary is live, this video will probably, actually for the time of the year it is right now, this video won't be going up until sometime in November. Anyway, downtown Grand Rapids is pretty cool. I, I enjoyed walking walking in that city earlier this year. And also, if, if you're if you're into drinking beer, there's a lot of a lot of great bars and cool places to eat as well in downtown Grand Rapids. This will be, this freeway will be ending and it'll come into I-96. I-196 connects I-96 up here in Grand Rapids. It goes all the way down toward I-94 as you head down toward like the Bend Harbor and St. Joseph area. So it's a good connector freeway if you're going from Grand Rapids all the way down to like Chicago. area more often. It's a, it's a nice area. Yeah, sorry about this. Yeah, people should not be driving under the speed limit in the fast lane. We'll be getting off that M37 Beltline Avenue. And here's where I-196 ends and here's I-96. I actually did a driving video on I-96 back in very late July. So in a way this will be a little bit of deja vu. But we're actually going to be getting off, and the rest of our video today will be off the freeway. Because you can't really see the metro area too well along the freeway. So we're going to get off here at Beltline Avenue and head south. Cool, they just, oh, it's like, yeah, they turn off the no turn on red symbol, but a bunch of cars are coming. Okay. Traffic cleared a little bit, so we get the turn. Although it looks a little bit messy to the left, I better not go. Okay, now things are looking better. I can actually go safely. Because, yeah, although you couldn't really see it, like, there, are, there was a bunch of people turning, turning right. It was a right turn lane. I could not see the main road. So it's like those are the moments where you pretty much don't want to turn. Because be because you'd be at fault if you got in an accident. 
the, yeah, that was a short light. So now we're on Beltline Avenue, M37. We'll take this south of ways, and then eventually we'll make our way back to the west a little bit. Pretty much back to 131. And pretty much after this video, I'm going to be doing some videos in the Grand Rapids area today. traffic-wise right now, I'd, I'd have to say. And yeah, but here is, yeah, Cascade Road right here, and a little fun fact, Cascade Road, well, if you go west, that'll take you into downtown Grand Rapids, but if you go east on Cascade Road, once you go into Ionia County, that actually turns into Grand River Road or Grand River Avenue, and that'll take you all the way to Detroit, Michigan, downtown Detroit, in fact. Because before I-96 was built, Grand River used to be the main route going from Detroit over to Lansing and then also going out to Grand Rapids because it, once you go into Kent County, it turns into Cascade Avenue. But yeah, as you can tell, Beltline Avenue serves a, a lot of the different areas and the eastern part of the Grand Rapids metro area. Kind of re reminds me of M59 a little bit out in the Detroit metro area. Or even like M85. Kind of like M85, though, like in the downriver communities of Detroit, there's a lot of traffic lights, so we'll be pausing for this one. Okay. And we're continuing here. Calvin College. about sports on on it, these videos in a while but yeah uh, been watching a lot of college football lately uh, although things can change by the time this video gets uploaded but Michigan's doing very well right now they're ranked third in the country although they could be it could be different though but by the time this video gets uploaded depending on how well they do but as of while I've been recording this video they're actually 6 and 0 right now. Um, they're yeah, third in the country right now and they're looking really well. Uh Michigan State on the other hand, yeah. They've been a little disappointing this year. They're currently 2 and 4. But but you never know. They can they can rebound though, but it, yeah, they're definitely having an off year. But yeah, and Western Michigan, like OMG, it's like they're actually in the top 25 right now, and they're un well, currently undefeated. And yeah, I see, yeah, I see that Western Michigan sign. That was yeah, that's hilarious. How I just random, randomly come up across that. Although they're not in Grand Rapids, they're in Kalamazoo. And yeah, what's going on up ahead? I don't know if it just turned green or something, but. Although you're actually coming into Kentwood, and I know the mall's coming up. You're actually right up here. Yeah, there's just heavy mall traffic, and it's kind of early, too. Yep, Woodland Mall. Ah, oh, Kip. Okay. Yeah, as you can tell, a lot of, of course, a lot of different stores along in here near the mall. So, th yeah, this this park can get very congested, as, as we saw at that traffic light back there.
be we're gonna be turning right at M11 and continuing west through Kentwood and Grand Rapids. And a little fun fact: I started the video today at M11 along 196. But yeah, we're not going to be making a full loop, though, because I'll probably be ending the video at 131. And I've come to realize this video is not going to be as long as I originally thought. Oh, how convenient. Right turn, green arrow. So now we're going to the south side of Woodland Mall. coming down here I got a lot more stores in here also got the got the movie theaters to the right yeah it's one thing I haven't done in a long time I haven't been in the movies in a long time I'm trying to remember the last movie I did see oh yeah actually it was the Star Wars the Force Awakens that was the last movie I saw in the theater <laughs> and of course that was back around Christmas time and that was like 10 months ago that was a good movie, I'd, I'd have to say. But yeah, I haven't been interested in going to see any of the movies this year. I almost did see the Captain America movie that came out this year, but... But when it comes to the travel life, it's like, don't get a chance to see too many movies. <laughs> And yep, it's Halloween season, so you you start to see Halloween stores all all around. All the, although they don't really exist too much after Halloween. Oh, cool! Don't have to pause for this one. So yeah, with my job right now in IT or information technology, yeah, things are really, really busy at the office right now. Of course, if you, if you happen to watch my Q and A answering video, yeah, I basically mentioned yeah, this is not my full time job. I don't do these for a living or anything. But yeah, I'm actually I work in IT full time, so yeah, pre that's pretty much my day job during the week. And yeah, what's really nice is that things have really been picking up at the at the office getting really busy so it's definitely a really good thing and it makes these weekends even even more cherishable because it's a great way to unwind and enjoy the beautiful fall scenery Yeah, I'm probably not going to pause the video because it's about to turn green. But coming across one of many, many Meyer grocery stores, although it, well, it's not just a grocery grocery store, it's a uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like another Walmart in a way, although more for the Midwest. Uh, Meyer is actually out of Grand Rapids. But, but you can see them all throughout the state of Michigan, even over in the Detroit area. And of course, you can see them now in Ohio, Indiana, and, all, and a bunch of other states in the Midwest. So it's like, if, if, you're, if you're from the southern United States, you're probably like, what the heck is Meyer? Just like there's probably people in the Great Lakes states who probably have not have heard of the store Safeway. Although Safeway is more of a true grocery store, where Meyer, it's a part grocery store, half department store. Kind of like how Walmart is. Although Walmart is more well known, of course.
Yeah, a lot of traffic out for a Saturday morning, but it's no different than the Detroit area. But yeah, one video actually I'm going to be doing later today, I'm actually going to be going to Millennium Park, which I mentioned about at the beginning of this video, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Visit video over there. And then actually we'll be doing a Travel the Lights video in the Wyoming area, too. Originally I was planning to do this driving video later this afternoon, but I got over here really fast today so it's like the place not even wasn't even open yet when I got over in that area so it's like let's do this now because why not and we're coming into Wyoming Michigan <laughs> well actually on the other side of this light And yeah, we're actually coming up to 131 momentarily, so we're going to be, unfortunately, wrapping up this video today. So yeah, I, I, I hope you've enjoyed this driving video all throughout the Grand Rapids metro area. Ooh, I'm getting lucky with this traffic light. So if, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up for more... Scott Man 95 trail videos, definitely click that subscribe button and yay, he's merging over. Because <laughs> we're actually going over 131 shortly. And at the end of every video, links to my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. Well, thank you for watching today's drive video, dr dr driving throughout I-196, Beltline Avenue, and M11 here in the Grand Rapids metro area. And this is Scott signing out.